friends, it's Peanut. I'm back after a long time of not being able to film. Uh, my life has been very chaotic with house buying, my brother's wedding, baby number three, raising George and Ian. Hello. Kiss. More well, kisses? <laughs> yes, it's been so chaotic, so busy, and uh, everything's just kind of been chaotic. So. Um, this video is going to be a garage sale and uh, Goodwill bin. I just went out on Tuesday and Wednesday of this week to haul everything. Um, I needed to source because I've been listing like crazy and I had no more inventory to list. So I went and got some items and I'm pretty excited about the finds that I found. And if you are brand new to my channel, hello, my name is Peanut. I am a reseller on Poshmark. Um, I stopped eBay for a bit and I think I'm going to pick it back up, but um, definitely on Poshmark. And I've been doing this since September of 2018. My closet is a peanut and counting. If you're new to Poshmark, definitely check the link below and you'll earn $5 for um, joining Poshmark. And let's get started, George. All right, he's probably gonna run in and out of this video because he's 19 months and can't stay still. Right? <coughs> so the first item is this AG Adriana Goshmi, the Capri jeans. I bought this at the garage sale for $2. It is still in very good condition and um, I already took pictures. I just have to measure everything. Next item is these 7 for All Mankind Dojo Capri Jeans, size, size are you? 25. And I found this at the garage sale and I paid $3 for them. Um, and I checked the comps for these. They're about $30, $30. So it's not bad for the price that I paid for them. Next item from the garage sale is this North Face Boy size 14, 16 large um, jacket. It's still in very good condition uh, with some minor stains. And, but I bought this for $4 and North Face sells very well for me. So I'm excited to get this listed and everything's already pictured and uh, pictured. I just have to measure some and then ready list them. Next item is this cloth and stone size medium chambray. Um, and I bought this at the garage sale for two dollars. And I've sold uh, cloth and stones before. And if I'm correct, this is from Anthropology. So <laughs> I wish you guys could see this. He's sitting next to me, and each time I list, uh, pull the shirt up, he pulls. A clothing item up. So cute. <laughs> Next item, I've never heard of this brand before, but I picked it up mainly for the design. But it's um the brand Iris. Size small jean vest jacket. And it's super cute. And I think jean jackets are still in. I think. So I picked that up. Next item is a extra small Athleta. I love picking up Athleta items, but this is kind of like a. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> it's a cowl, kind of like a loose cowl neck wrap, um, very thin sweater, hoodie sweater. Yep, so I'm excited to get that sewed. Another Athleta. Oh, I got that at the garage sale for $2. Next item is this Athleta size extra small, also for $2. And it's just a basic white um, racerback tink with a little scrunch on the bottom. This is also from the garage sale, Victoria's Secret Pink Extra Small. And I'm kind of a bit more picky about my Victoria's Secret items that I picked just because I'm finding that they sell, but they take a while to sell, and the newer, trendier items sell, tend to sell much faster. So that's been my goal, but this one is very, in very good condition, and it's a pink hoodie, 
and I got this for three dollars. Next item, my sister found this for me. It is a Deletta New with Tag Extra Small Anthropology um, tank. Now, it's New with Tags, but it looks like there's some stains on it, like on the inside and on the outside. So I'm gonna have to definitely try to treat this to see if I can get any of the stains off. They're very small stains though, so I'm not too concerned about it. At the garage sale for $2. Next item is this sweater. It's cut from the cloth size small. It's kind of like a crop top sweater, stripe, loose um, poncho style. And I bought this for $2 at the garage sale. Alright, next items. Any more grazzo items? Bye, so that's all that I bought today at the garage sale. Next item is items that I found at the thrift store on Memorial Day. I forgot that I went thrifting on Memorial Day as well. And George is showing you the first item is let's back up so that he can be in the camera. Boop, 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 boop. Ready? Okay, so next item is this Maeve by Anthropology. It is a size six button front um, blouse. Hey. Ay, ay. <laughs> come here, come sit down, come sit down. Come sit down. Yeah, button front blouse with floral designs. It's still in very good condition. And um, this is already pictured, measured. I just have to list it. <laughs> this is not from the garage, from the thrift store. Come on, buddy. Okay, so next item is this Lulu Lemon Racer Back. My sister found this for me. Well, actually, I found this. I found this at the thrift store on Memorial Weekend, and everything was 50% off. So I paid like $3 for this, which is not bad for a Lulu Lemon item. And it's just a simple black racer top tank that is ready to be listed. Next item is this Plioni. I think that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> Are you showing the camera? Next item is this Plioni. Come on, camera focus. I don't know if it's gonna focus. There it goes. There it goes. Plioni size small blouse. Um, this is my second time finding this item. And I only picked this item up because um, on Instagram I follow um, hashtag label porn. And I've seen a couple resellers picked up this brand before. So I'm not sure exactly where it's from. But I picked it up because it was 50% off. And I think I only paid like $2 for it. If I remember correctly. Okay, George is taking a little me break. <laughs> so next item, I bought this item from a previous garage sale a couple days ago already and I just finally got to listing it but it's a Kate Spade size medium tank with the um, little floral de decoration I bought this for a dollar a dollar so it wasn't that bad next item is a Vince Comuto size 6 dress in very good condition still the only thing that's wrong with this is the string for the um, um, waist string for the tie <laughs> is you know obviously broken but the dress is still in very good condition and I bought this at the garage sale with that Kate Spade shirt for two dollars fifty cents so I cannot complain about the price of that okay so I got George a bottle his kid music is on the TV so you're going to hear that in the background my camera needs to focus there it goes all right now these items are from the Goodwill bins um, and let's just get started so first item is this tour denim new it takes size 20 shorts it does need to be lent a little um, I linted the item already but it's still needs a good job it needs to go over again next item is um, this is not from the Goodwill but I had it to picture this is from Forever 21, Rory Becca, 
it's a dress that my sister-in-law gave me um, and it's just this cute lavender dress high-low hem and I'm excited to get that finally listed next item is this vanity dress size is small this is from my sister-in-law as well um, from her personal closet and it's just a simple black and white stripe dress as long with this item is from my sister's uh, last donation as well to my it's an H&M size 2 dress and um, I figured since I got it I might as well list it as uh, part of myself for 5 for 25 it's just a fun way to get rid of it I don't get much for it but I still get a little of something Goodwill bins back to Goodwill bins is this size small adidas um, zip up it's in very good condition and I'm excited to get it listed and I'm trying to pick up more maternity clothing items just because I find that they're selling very well for me um, so I picked up this large motherhood smock blouse it's super cute and it is going to flatter your stomach so I picked that up Next maternity item is Oh Baby by Motherhood, size medium. Not the correct time or season for this, but I still picked it up anyways. And it's just a cowl neck, long sleeve, um, with the wrenching on the side. Next item, Under Armour tends to do very well for me, so I picked it up. Never heard of this brand before. I picked it up more for the style, but it's Life in Progress. And I probably will not pick up this pro uh, brand no more because I checked the comps for it and it's not that high. So um, I picked it up because it's a button up. Love the color. It's gray. Next item is Sanctuary size small. And it's just a basic shirt with um, bell sleeves. Now I picked up Sanctuary, oh Philosophy, sorry, Philosophy. I picked up a couple of Philosophy items before but they have not sold for me. I don't know if I'm overpricing them or not but I thought it was cute and simple and minimal. Next item I picked more for the style than the brand. It's I Love H81. Again, I probably will not pick this item up again. Comps are not that greatest. It is just this cute plaid tunic with ruffles on the side. It is missing the um, waist string. So I'm going to have to list that. But I didn't pick paid much for these items, so I can't complain. You, I'm kind of learning as I go still. Next item is a no comment size medium gingham over the shoulder with bell sleeves top. I picked this up because it's more cute than anything. The brand is not something that will sell very well, but it's a very cute um, design. Next item is a Kenneth Cole Reaction size small plaid button front. And I know it's generally not the season for this, but it's so comfy. And I don't think I'm going to pick up Kenneth Cole no more because I came home, looked at the comps, and it wasn't worth what I'm gonna put more effort into so not doing that again next item is this uh, dolled up extra large best like asymmetrical tribal print um, open best and um, I picked up this brand before it's like in the $10 $15 range which I picked up at the Goodwill bins after everything, every after like paying for everything and dividing equally, I probably only paid about 60, 70 cents per clothing item. Um, so I picked up this item up more for style than anything else. Next item is a Victoria's Secret medium. Oops. And it's just a pajama top. 
And I've sold these pajama tops before, and I can get about $15 for it. So I'm glad, um, quite happy about that turner over again. I'm not paying much for the item, so I can't complain. Next is a two by Vince Comedal. And it's just this, like, olive, kind of olive, like, gray, white. <laughs> That's the thing. It's just this cute button front. And I checked the comps for this. They are about $30 to $40. So I'm excited. <laughs> I was excited when I found this item, but it even got me more excited just finding it. Oh. My sister, who I've been kind of telling um, to kind of look out for what brands and everything, has found a Lululemon racer back. It's just a simple racer back, black tank. I went from not finding any Lululemon items to just finding one, one or two when I go out now. So I'm happy about the results. I can't complain. Next item is some of my um, bread and butter items. Banana Republic size large men's sweater. And it's just this fun pinky color. Uh, can never go wrong with Banana Republic, of course. It's all based on the style as well, so make sure you pick up your appropriate style. <laughs> Another Banana Republic small cardigan, button up cardigan. And generally with Banana Republics, I can get about 10 to $15 back for after everything, all the fees and everything. So that's not a bad turnover for the money that I put into it. Next item is this American Eagle Outfitters size medium um, sweater and it's just this cute little sweater with this fun little slit on the back. Oops. And um, I do pick up American Eagle Outfitters sweaters every now and then depending on the style. They don't sell very well or very high. But if it's something unique like that and it's cute, I will pick it up and it probably will range from $10 to $15 after everything. Um, so it's not bad, again, for the turnover for the item. Next item is a medium Miss Me uh, top. And then um, I've sold a couple of Miss Me before tops. And they generally sell, again, for $10 to $15. Not something outrageously expensive, but everything counts, right, in the end. Especially when I only paid $0.60 cents per item. Next is another American Eagle Outfitters Vintage Boyfriend. Kind of like Western style uh, button front. And this cute, like, pink, pink, blue mauve color super adorable next item is BDG size large and this is carried at Urban Outfitters and it's just this cute crop top it's linen and I know linen is the in fabric currently um, let me just double check yeah it is a linen item so I'm excited to get this listed and I love the color it's like a peachy color so it's that next item is Jameson extra small I'd never heard of the brand I came home I checked the comps for it and it's actually an anthropology item it's not like a higher brand though it's kind of like a lower end of anthropology and the resell of this is kind of like 15 to 20 dollars which is not bad and it's just a cute cold shoulder long sleeve. Next item is free people. I love finding free people at the outlets. I really do. It is a small free people plaid button front blouse. It's kind of big though. So I think it says small on here, but it's more like a medium. Unless the, it's like the whole thing is supposed to be oversized. But it has this little cute ruffle on the back. And not in season, but I'm hoping 
someone still buys it. <laughs> There's that. Next item is this Michael Kors medium. Just a simple, simple sweater. Slouchy kind of sweater. And then another Under Armour men item. This is the Threadborn Fitted Feet Gear Extra Large. There's that. And I usually can get about 15 to 20, depending on the item um, of Urban, of, of not Urban, of Under Armour. So it's not bad. I'm probably going to say that a lot that phrase a lot so I'm sorry next item is this medium Michael Kors cold shoulder cold shoulder poncho there it goes love the color it's like a light camel like like tan beautiful color I picked this up because of the style but it's a medium carbon sweater I love the printing, the pattern on it. I probably will only get like 10 bucks for this, but it's beautiful. It's cute. Alrighty, next item, the only item, shoes item that I found at the Goodwill are these kids size 11 Snowball B, that's the style, Nord Trail boots. They are still in very, very good condition. Um, I checked the comps for these when I came home. They're about $30, $40. So that is already my trip back for everything that I pay for. Athleta size 8 pants. Or like, they're like the track pants kind of material. And I already got this measured and pictured. I just got to list it now. Um, another bread and butter banana republic size six pleated skirt in the striped pattern and then jeans I, uh, it's my first time finding a j crew jeans i don't know if this is an older name tag or not or if it even is a jean that will sell but i picked it up i'm going to test it i'm going to experiment it it's kind of like a slim straight leg and it's still in very good condition, so we'll see what I get for this. Next item, um, another bread and butter, American Eagle Stretch Slim Boot, size 00 jeans. And American Eagle jeans, I can generally get back about 10 to $15 for. And they, they sell so quick that I don't mind doing it, so mind picking it up. And I love listing jeans. They're the easiest items for me to list. Next item is this Under Armour Medium Long Sweatpants. Again, very in very, very good condition. Can't complain for $10, $15. Next item, um, it's I only picked it up because of the gems <laughs> and the embellishment, but I don't think I'm gonna ever pick this item up again. But it's LA Idol USA. There goes size seven, so it's a junior, junior brand Capri, and I checked the comps for this when I came home. I didn't have time to check it at the outlet. Um, the comps for this is like 15, uh, not 15, like 10 to 15 dollars, which is pretty low for a jean brand that I've never heard. Um, and I don't know how fast it's gonna go out of my closet, so I decided I'm never gonna pick up this brand again. Next item is Lucky Brand. I love Lucky Brands because I can get 15 to 20 bucks for this. Size zero. This is the classic writer jeans. Oh, there's a little Lucky Brand tag on the back. And again, Lucky Brand, I can get about 15 to 20 bucks. 
Alright, he had a temporary stop because guess who decided he wanted to come back and join the video. He'll probably make his way in and out, so I'll try to finish this as fast as I can. Next item is the 7 for All Mankind Boot Cut Jeans. I found these at the Goodwill bin and they are still in very, very good condition. And items pictured, measured, I just have to physically list it. Alrighty, um, I got a couple more jeans and then we'll head to the swimsuits. Next is a Grace and LA yeah. jeans, easy fit, size 27. I checked the comps on, um, it's a Capri as well. Check the comps on Poshmark. These are selling for about 30 to $40. So hopefully I get that much for this item. Next item, Banana Republic, another bread and butter, premium denim, high rise, skinny, and this black. Still in very good condition as well. Next item is a Columbia Sportswear size 12, men, omni shade, sun protection, active wear shorts, more for like hiking. Um, Probably not gonna get much for this, probably like 10, 15 bucks, but it's not bad for how easy of an item it is to list. Next is a Gap Denim, um, True Skinny in this cute lilac color. And I will probably get about 10, 15 bucks for this as well. Gap, I, a Gap is also another bread and, bread and butter item for me. I don't know if it's true for everyone but it is for me <laughs> so next item is this fabletics tights um i think these are small there's no more tag on it so i can't tell but they are in very good condition like they are very very good condition so i'm excited to list these and then the last of my jeans this is a J. Crew Danny size for pants, skinny pants. And I checked the comps for these. They're about $20 to $25. Next item is this cabbie jean size 2, skinny, skinny jeans. Um, I also checked the comps for this. They're about $20, $15 to $20. So you, it's not bad for the money that I paid. I'm never picking up this brand again. It's called oh, Focus Camera. It's called Blue Spice. Um, I checked the comps. It's about like five to like fifteen dollars, so it's not worth my time. I'm never picking this brand up again. But I do like the style of this. It's like an acid wash denim with a frayed hem. Um, but it's not going to be working in the future for me, so not doing that. Swimming items. I got this Tommy Hilfiger size medium swim trunk, and it's a woman, and it's fun. It's actually, it's showing up pink, but it's red. It's like a true red. Next item is this Massimo size large one piece. Now I'll probably just get like 10 bucks for this, which is not bad. Next item is a tagini bikini size medium swim top bikini top and this one is new without takes exhilaration extra large bikini top victoria's secret size medium yellow polka dot bikini <laughs> and then going to intimate items now Victoria's Secret Extra Small Camisole. I'll probably get about 10, 15 bucks for this too. Or even cheaper, depending on how long it stays in my closet. But one item that I love to list is Victoria's Secret Bras because they generally turn around very quick for me. And they're easy to store, easy to list, and I get about, varies on the bras, about $7 to $10 to like $15 depending on the bra. So it's not bad, but it's a 3060 Victoria's Secret push-up bra, and it's in this nude color. Last 
item from this Goodwill haul. Another bra, Victoria's Secret 36C push-up bra. There it goes. And that's it. This is a collective haul from thrift store on Memorial Day, Goodwill haul, Goodwill outlet haul on Tuesday, and garage sale on Wednesday. So a lot of items. Everything is completely pictured. Um, most of it is measured and ready to be listed so that all these items will be going up in my closet pretty soon. So if you are interested in any items, definitely check the link below or just um, Poshmark closet is peanut and counting. But that is it for today's video. We shall see you on our next video haul. And until then, bye-bye. Say bye-bye, Kikish. <laughs> Alrighty, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.